on the agenda that affects all of us is the public hearing on the, on the county's proposed 2019-20 budget. Is there any public comment? Oh, thank you. Um, I, was, I was forgetting. I was so excited about the county that I forgot about our next meeting, which will be May 13th at 5.30 here, in this very spot, at the West Gulf Town office. Is there public comment? Okay, seeing none, uh, first item on the agenda is the proposed Gold Rock Road reconstruction. And the information that we have presented just now is that the project bids were opened and read aloud at 9 o'clock on April 17th here in the town office. The low bidder uh, is Reno's excavation with a total cost of $92,350, which includes ledge removal. And um, we're asked to award the bid. We've got a little bit of $92,350 and a high bid of $230,322. Um, yeah, there's quite a spread. Yeah. Everybody's bidding on the same yes. specifications and everything, right? Okay. They all received the same bid package. Well then, um, I guess I'll put a motion on the floor and we can discuss it further if we want. Um, I move to uh, award the bid to the lowest bidder, which will be Reno's excavation. I second that motion. Second. Is there any further discussion? Do we have a, a time frame on that? Mr. Reno? Is You're asking me? Is it, oh. what, what is the time frame on this? Um, I believe it's, it was on the bid. It's, I believe it's August 30th. So the work will be completed by August 30th? Yes. Do you need to close <coughs> at all for a couple days? Or? Yeah. That will always have access. For the people that live on that corner. Okay. That'll make the job go quicker, and that's what kept the expense down. Um, um, believe it or not, it was actually just pretty expensive, more expensive for me. I have to have flag just standing out there. Oh, I believe it. Mm -hmm. control. Yes, David. This money's out of the current budget? Yes, it is. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> and just to be. It was just the, it's not the whole row, it's kind of the center where all the big dips are. Yeah, uh, basically what the, what the town's doing, we're taking two strips. We must go make, we're taking, first look, it's called a uh, <coughs> overall ledge, we're dropping it down two feet. And then we're having two box cuts that put an under in that's going 400 feet on both sides of the roads and cutting off. So all your water goes down to that pipe and runs out. Which is basically the most cost the cost of this job most is all the blasting, getting it out of there. So we don't have that issue time after time after time. And we 
somewhere there's a spring in there and we got to get it to drain out of the road. It's basically the same thing we did on Long Cove Hill. It was all engineered by Rob Prue. Looked at it. Um, he, I thought he did a nice job engineering it. He really was overboard to make sure it got fixed this time. It doesn't get fixed, <coughs> then I, the people can bitch. <coughs> if it doesn't get fixed, are we going to write in stone that we're never going to fix this road again? I don't know about that. <laughs> so the you said it will be done by August 30th. When do you start it? It's right off. Last time that was done, several years ago, was, was that job engineered, do you happen to know? Or you know? Yes, I believe it was. It was engineered by Sightline. It was. But they tried to put too much in on that package deal. They tried to do the whole road from one end to the other and then all the way down to the bolt wagon. So I think they put too much in on it and they did not concentrate enough on that area. Mm -hmm. They basically just did ditching on the sides. Mm -hmm. There was no, I mean, they, they did cut it out, but there was no certain amount, no requirements, you know, take mm -hmm. it out and see what the problem was. So obviously it's, Broken rock in there that's um, a spring or something that's pushing the road up every winter. The water has no place to go. Yep. So. Okay. Good. Thank you. Yes. Does this current engineer, do you look at the other plans that were done and to see what was you know, planned out before? Do you know if you saw the history of the road? <coughs> no. I did not, but I remember seeing, I remember bidding that first job. No, no, I'm saying, does the engineer crew, does, does he know the history of what was done to that? No, but he knows what the problem of the road was. Okay. And I told him that we've already fixed it twice, and it needs to be done right. All right. I mean, I, that's out of my hand. No, no, I just didn't know if he knew about the history of it. That's, that's all. Right. He does. He knows some history of it. Right. And he knew it's already been done, okay. and we don't want to do it again. All right. So... Basically, I, what he played out was pretty good. We're doing a four-foot cut through there. I mean, it's, if that doesn't take care of it, then we got issues. Mm -hmm. We're going. It's probably a little bit overkill on that spot, but what do we do when we've already done it once? Any further discussion? Mm -hmm. Ready to vote? Yep. All in favor of awarding the bid to Reno's excavation. There you go. Okay. back there. I'm here for the road commissioner. Okay. Second item on the agenda is the proposed fiscal year 1920 municipal and school budgets. And um, is the school committee ready for um, recommendations? Uh, we do not have a final budget yet. Uh, we do have changes from the last time we were here. Uh, but when we met last week, there were a couple unknowns. Uh, so the board, after two weeks ago, now the board felt it was better to wait and we'll vote on our final budget uh, on Wednesday, which will still keep us in timeline with getting the warrants printed and approved and, and everything else. Uh, happy to run through what those changes were since the first proposal, if that's what you'd like to like for us to do. Yes, I think that would be helpful. <coughs> change in costs that were out of our control in that uh, we had an increase in students going to middle and high school and an increase in tuition um, at about a hundred thousand dollar change 
and then we also um, no longer have our tuition um, credit from RSU1, which is another $100,000 change. So we had about $200,000 that we had to figure out how to make up for within our budget um, just at the onset. So the changes that you see from the first reading that we did, um, in regular instruction tuition, we had um, it was at 10.28%. Now it's now it's at an 8.45% increase. We had two students who had moved out. We budget for based on our student population as is, um, plus give room for three more students. And so, because we budget as is, we had two students move out. We removed them from the budget. I did here today. We have two more students moving in next week. So, you know, that's one of those things that it's constantly a moving game. But the board will look at that and make a final decision on where their the tuition recommendation is. Um, other changes that you see is that in Frederick Below 7, which is student and staff support, um, the increase is now at 0.46% other than at 3.57%. That change is um, related to having decisions made around. Um, increases for salaries for non-union employees in that category and then also reductions in insurance based on what employees are taking. Could you say that again? Emily? You're going off the desk. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, the changes in the student and staff support, mm -hmm. those are specific to having a reduction in insurance for people who fall into those categories. And what was the percentage change? It was at 3.57% increase. Now it's a 0.46% increase overall, $925 from last year. Now before you move on, mm -hmm. back to the regular instruction tuition, yes. um, what was the percentage change from? It was 10.28, uh, now it's 8.45. Oh, okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Uh, looking at both system administration and school administration, there is uh, a negative increase or decrease. It was at minus 1.87, now it's at minus 1.93 for system administration. It was at minus 0.34%, now it's at 0.58%. Those are because, again, decisions are made um, by the board around non-union employee um, raises, and then there's changes that end up being reductions in insurance in those categories. And then operation and maintenance from the prior budget. Um, actually, there's no change from there. But areas that we still need to discuss are operation and maintenance, because we had some unknowns around the sprinkler system and whether we wanted to make the changes that were rec recommended by the budget committee there, um, and some choices that have to be made in that area. Um, we also, in terms of the carryover, still need to make a final determination on whether or not more carryover can be added to the budget to help offset the local contribution portion. So uh, we also have um, one more staffing review that we'll do in regular instruction on Wednesday to uh, determine if there's any other reductions that can happen there. So those are the pieces that are still on the table for Wednesday. Uh, we anticipate that we'll be able to have a final budget at that time. <coughs> <coughs> Any further questions from the assembled group? Yes. Do we know what 4.56% represents to the average taxpayer household? Is that? What will, what, will the, what will the different homeowners feel there? What, what does that, how does that <coughs> the, the taxpayer? It depends how much we utilize through surplus and other revenue streams. So that's not something that's easily answered right now. Okay. Have to take the budget as a whole, okay. the entire town, okay. and then figure out what's approved and how we cover the cost of our appropriations. It won't necessarily all be from taxation. A portion of it, maybe more than last year, could be taken from surplus or from other revenue streams. So, not easily answered tonight. But as it sits with these numbers, which are 
very fluid at this point. It represents approximately 0 0.2 of a mil or $143,000 total. So, 0 0.2 of a mil, roughly. But then we don't know what the basis of a mill is going to be yet either because well, it's <coughs> so everything is quite fluid right now. Nothing comes together until the very last minute, unfortunately. I mean, once you have it, think you have it together, it changes. <laughs> and then it changes. It changes. Yeah. Yeah. We live with it and love it for a day. So. <laughs> Just to clarify, um, I don't think the budget committee recommended the change the sprinkler system. One of the members suggested we should look at it, but we didn't adjust changes at this point. If there are no further comments, thank you. Thank you. From the municipal Budget Advisory Committee. We have some updated figures. Yes. Uh, in case I miss something, I hope somebody will correct me. <clears throat> we didn't make too many changes uh, uh, on the salary section of the budget. Uh, we wanted to give all the town employees a 2.5% increase in their wages. Uh, that's a Cold number, I believe. They accept the town administrator, town court, uh, treasurer, and town clerk. We wanted to go with 3% raise for them. Yes. And on Hyper Master, we wanted to bump that up 10%. Because he's already grossly underpaid. Well, that could be many years it would not accept the raise. I know. So. Yes. And at some point, he'll, Joe won't be doing this anymore, and we want to give up somewhere near what it might be. Yes, we do need to keep inching that one up. Because um, right now, Joe does it more as a volunteer job than as a professional position. Mm -hmm. Thanks on the, to Joe. Mm -hmm. On the Selectman's Contingency Fund, we wanted to keep it at 5000 and not 10000 We want to make sure that the fire protection uh, payroll for the fire department volunteers is also boosted by that 2.5%. <coughs> what was that again, dude? The incentive pay for the firemen. Okay. Oh. Yeah. We want to have that at the same 2.5% increase. Mm -hmm. You know, some of these wages where they get a some have a stipend mm -hmm. beyond the normal base wage. We want to make sure the 2.5% uh, is on the base wage, not the total because they receive extra money for whatever, fines or mileage. On the compost recycling proposal, uh, at this point in time, we did not see it any sense of uh, having that compost system set up. Uh, the town does not have a lot of neighborhoods or apartment buildings where you can't compost if you wish to. And we can't even get half the town to recycle paper, uh, <laughs> let alone let up there for compost. And there are two uh, receiving centers of bath if they want to really re recycle those that compost material. So that was I believe twenty eight hundred dollars for that. This year, our oh, last several years, we've put off road work. And Steve is coming with a, with a long list of road repairs. Uh, 
we decided this year we'll leave the recommendations on the road repairs until just before town meeting. We'll meet the 1st of June, uh, hoping that the town may receive some more revenue sharing money <coughs> or some more school funding. But we put these roads off for several years, and we've got to invest money in the roads this year. <coughs> so right now, that's kind of all on the table. You can see how the numbers come up by sometime around the 1st of June. Hopefully, the state will reimburse a lot more revenue sharing, and I'm sure we'll get more school funding. I'm sure. Uh, Steve, um, what, are your, what are your favorite proposals for road repairs? Just kind of hit the high spot. <coughs> well, basically, <coughs> <laughs> the biggest, the biggest concern I have right now is is the the end of the Foss Point Road through the fields and stuff. The road basically pushing right into the ditches, and we're, we're going to lose that section of road soon if we don't grab something with it. So that's one of the biggest concerns I have right now. Um, we're actually getting to get the. Uh, Bow Rock Road done, so I'm happy with that. Um, we had some other stuff that I liked to done on the Bow Rock too, down by the bolt lane and around that corner. Um, I like to do some hammering in the town to get some of these ditches to run properly. Um, right now our ditches, like on places like that, that's not low enough so the water wants to go across the road. It has no chance to build up at all. It just once it freezes, it's going right down the middle of the road over there. So that's a, that's a concern. Um, the Austin Road, I mean, we can. I have paving down on, on the Austin Road, but I think that we could probably wait and see what's going to happen with that Calvert. I think that's going to something that's going to be coming up. It's going to be a grass that taken care of. Um, I can see bringing that part of that road up some and work on that. Um, I got a lot of little things I'd like to do down on the Birch Point Road. Uh, people down there are very nice. They, they have a lot of concerns. They bring a lot of questions up to me and they're paying attention to their road so maybe I should pay a little bit more attention to their road. So I'd like to do a, you know, a, a few more things down there to keep Keep things rolling. We just we just haven't had the money to do anything major because we had had it, but now it's getting to the point where we got to find it. We got to do it. Minor repairs are becoming major repairs. It's not exactly. I mean, it's it's coming to a point now. It's okay. You know, do we want to lose a road and then have to come up try to find two or three hundred thousand dollars to do it all at once, or do we mm -hmm. want to try to, you know? This in the a little bit. So I did go a little high in my budget because I could see that we could spend all that and we need to do that. Get things shipped back up, get them so because the more it goes down and you keep driving over it, so you figure you're driving down a road like this and then all of a sudden it drops down. So all your weight shifts. So that puts more pressure on a spot that's already been broke down pretty much. So it just keeps progressively getting, just like a ball hole, it just keeps progressively getting worse. So if you get them shimmed back up, you keep your vehicles on a level on the road, it saves it. And where are we on Spino Road? Spino Road? Um, basically, um, patching. We're still in the permitting process, is, is, mm -hmm. is yeah. that's where we are? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like patching is some ditching down towards the end. <laughs> so, uh, as far as the uh, culvert, we're still working on that, which, I don't know. I, what I've seen so far is that I'm not, I'm, I'm not a fan of it, <clears throat> so. Okay, um, yes, Dan. One other minor change that I skipped, and what you might have about, on the fuel for, uh, I believe it was for, I'm a master. Um, we always spent that like seventy-seven dollars this year, putting the notes. So we should bump that up to at least five fifty for fuel. Mm -hmm. So 
So we'll, we will meet again the 1st of June, look at the budget again, uh, try to keep a rate increase reasonable. Uh, right now it's probably around, a, what, a dollar to a thousand increase. Uh, so we'll try to keep that in mind as well as what Steve needs for the roads. So the, the, the warrant won't have a specific number? Yes, it could have, because if, if you vote to reduce it, you reduce it town meeting. Okay. And we will make a recommendation verbally uh, at town meeting once you get more numbers from the town. Approximately four hundred and fifty thousand. Right? That's a we have round number. That's a we have. <coughs> okay. Well, there is a culvert. 
I told him, yes, I, 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 I'm aware of it. I said, I've been just waiting to find the right size machine to get down in there. Because I've already pulled it out last fall. They did it last fall also. And we drained it then. And when it comes out, if you're not careful, it can take the road out and my driveway and the hill road. That's where all the water heads. Did you put a sign up saying no beaver allowed? Really? <laughs> um, I think what we might have to do is talk to the animal control officer and see if we can get a beaver trap or get somebody in there and remove yeah. the beaver. That's going to have to be the state because unless somebody's made pets of them, they're wild. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, good trapping season ended April 1st. By yeah. the state? Concern. Yeah, but if it's a nuisance, you can get a special <laughs> permit to trap yeah. them out of season. Just have to jump through a few hoops. Yeah. Maybe it's the normal trapping season. <laughs> but yes, it was up the same height last fall. Um, and we went down there. I grabbed my excavator and thumb and uh, threw it out. And she cleaned that herself right out really nice. But it was just starting to crest my road down that end. So we're trying to release it slowly. And then I went down to check the hill road. Those two calvets that we put in down there were just taking it. So, yeah. And the reason that it ain't been down earlier because I was waiting for the snow to melt off and trying to keep things. Because it's been gone probably for the last month. And I've known that. But I'm just waiting not to make other problems now through there. Now the ice is gone and there won't be dams and backups. It'll go. Maybe you could take a, um, a, a video of. A stick moving down, not north, so oh, okay. that you can show the state which way that runs. <laughs> I think so you just take a video and see. <laughs> <laughs> it might take five years for them to admit well, it. Well, basically, what the, uh, the thing will do is once it's back, back down, we'll go over and take a picture of the helmet uh, that's all across the state road and just update them. I mean, the people who work for the state now, they're out of. Scarborough, main office. So they know, you know, all the old timers are gone. Yeah. They knew all the little catches and, and stuff like that. So, so basically, it's not enough for the whole new generation that does not know anything about where the stuff is. So. But they're all paid really well. Yeah. Right. Perhaps the uh, elementary school would like to do a uh, learning expedition on beavers since they're now our newest wildlife in the neighborhood. Really? Ask that um, kindergartners do pets or pets since the spring expedition. You get one around that That's a good Is there other other? <laughs> then uh, shall we entertain a motion to adjourn? No. No. Executive session. Oh, well then let's entertain a motion for an executive session. Yeah, I make a motion uh, that we request to enter an executive session pursuant to Title One, named by statute mm -hmm. and dated session 4056A for the purpose of discussing personnel issues. Second. Second. All in favor of entering executive session for the purpose of the Discussing personnel issues. We were noted as I'm trying to spit out the. <coughs> uh, no, I don't want to say. <laughs> hey, are there still beavers out on the park back? Uh, where? Probably. 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 Probably.